for the sunrise, for the sunrise, for the sunrise, the world.
Space is the place. Space is the place. Yeah. Space. Space is the place. Space. Space is the place. Yeah. Space. A place that's really free. A place that's really free. A vast and endless free. A vast and endless free. Space. Out of space. Out of space. It's a pleasant place. Out of space, out of space is a pleasant place. Yes, space is a place. Space is a place. Space is a place. Yes, space is a place. Space is a place. Space is a place. Space is a place. To planet, we travel the space way from planet to planet. We travel the space way 
from planet to planet, greetings from the central 21, 21st century, greetings from the central 21, 21st century, greetings from the central 21, 21st century, greetings from the central 21, 21st it's only 21 years before the century of 21. It's only 21 years before the century of 21. Yes, greetings from the century of 21. Greetings from the century of 21. It's only 21 years before the century of 21. It's only 21 years before the century of 21. Yes, greetings from the century of 21, 21st century. Greetings from the century of 21. We travel the space way. Planet to planet. The second stop is Jupiter. The second stop is Jupiter. The second stop is Jupiter. We travel the space way. Planet to planet. You on the spaceship Earth! You on the spaceship Earth! You on the spaceship Earth! And you're outward bound! You on the spaceship Earth! You on the spaceship Earth! You on the spaceship Earth! Destination unknown! Destination unknown! You on the spaceship Earth! You on the spaceship Earth! You on the spaceship Earth! And you're outward bound! Destination unknown. Destination unknown. But you haven't met the captain of the spaceship yet, have you? Oh, you haven't met the captain of the spaceship yet, have you? You're on the spaceship, right? You're on the spaceship, right? We travel the space way. Planet to planet. Da 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 da. travel the space waves from planet to planet.
time again It's spring, it's spring, spring time again It's spring, it's spring, spring time again It's spring, it's spring, spring time again
show them to show us that it's the same sun. The same sun is shining to show us that it's the same sun. Oh, the same sun is shining to show us that it's the same sun. Same sun is shining that will shine. This world is not my home. It's not my home. It's not my home. This world is not my home. It's not my home. It's not my home. My home. Somewhere there. Somewhere there. Somewhere there. Many light years in space. Many light years in space. My home. It's somewhere there, somewhere there, somewhere there. Somewhere there, somewhere there. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. My home is somewhere there out in outer space. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. My home is somewhere there out in outer space. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. My home is somewhere there out in outer space. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. My home is somewhere there out in outer space. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. My home is somewhere there out in outer space. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. My home is somewhere there out in outer space. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. My home is somewhere there out in outer space Where human feet have never tried and human eyes have never seen Where human eyes have never seen Human feet have never tried My home Many light years in space Many light years in space Somewhere there Somewhere there Somewhere there I know that I'm a member of the angel race. My home is somewhere there out in outer space. My home is somewhere there out in outer space. This world is not my home. It's not my home. It's not my home. This Some call me Mr. Rock. But some call me mystery. Some call me Mr. Rock. But some call me mystery. Some call me Mr. Rock. But others call me mystery. Others call me mystery. They call me mystery. But some call me Mr. Rock. Others call me mystery. I know that I'm a member of the Angel Ray. I know that I'm a member of the angel race. My home is somewhere there out in outer space. My home is somewhere there out in outer space.
is all all pleasant never the never never Dat mag wel. Oké, potentie. Ja, dan zit nu naast ons iemand die werkelijk voor een groot spektakelstuk heeft gezorgd. Een soort muzikaal theater zou je kunnen zeggen. En dat misschien wel leuk is, althans we willen we dat proberen, hem te vragen eh, of hij daar wat over kan vertellen. Ik dacht dat het voor u thuis fijner was. U kunt natuurlijk naar luisteren, u over, over u heen laten komen en er zelf bij denken wat u wilt. Maar misschien toch leuk om uit zijn mond, de man die dit slotte allemaal gemaakt heeft, te horen hoe hij daar, eh, daar zelf over denkt. Mr. Sandra, I just explained to the viewers, you know, uh, that you maybe can give us a little introduction to the thing what you did on the concert so that the people know exactly what is the meaning of everything, you know, that they can say, oh, well, that's the message you have in this piece. Well, on your whole my, uh, my music concerns the cosmos and the greater universe. It also concerns the myth of things uh, in opposition to the reality of things. So it moves out beyond just music. It, uh, it connects the world, it tries to co communicate to people that there's something they don't know about in the universe, and it's something that they don't know about is why they're having problems on this planet through a lot of different psychic experiences and uh, meeting different types of musicians. I've learned a lot of things uh, in my experience on this planet. I'm trying to convey to them what I found out about things, which is not uh, really a mystery. It's just something they don't know about. Well, since music is a language, I'm trying to communicate through this language of these unknown things, which are important at this point because uh, the space age is here and I've been talking about it a long time. And uh, it's here to stay. And people have to adjust themselves to what is facing them. Things that, uh, that at one time would have been impossible are now possible. So in music, I'm doing some things that are seemingly impossible, like uh, different times against uh, other different times, for instance, like a 7-4 and a 5-4 and a 3-4 and 11-4, and, uh, everything together. And this way, the music becomes like a vast ocean of sound. Uh, a lot of musicians haven't been able to understand what I'm doing, and that's why, like, uh, the people that do hear me seem have, have connected more with me than even professional musicians, because they, they slept through this. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. the first time it ever happened on this planet. Usually musicians are ahead of the public, but this is a case where the public can feel something. They don't know what it is, but then um, I don't really know what it is either. <laughs> but I, I just know that they, if anything that you can feel is alive. And when there's no feeling, even in music, there's no life in it. And I'm dealing with feeling, you see. Now I wonder if I can awaken uh, other types of feelings in people. Maybe this 95% of a man's mind that he doesn't use uh, his brain it might become available for to do something about humanity. So I'm, I'm really striving to do something about humanity, feeling that I would have to reject um, everything this planet has done so far is useless because it hasn't accomplished anything. I feel that musicians could actually achieve this because the politicians and the religionists and other people haven't been able to do anything. And music is this vast thing that can do this. But a lot of musicians are selfish and uh, short-sighted, and I haven't had too much support from them. A lot of things that they need to know about music, I know about them. And I'm trying to, the musicians, musicians that I do have, have stuck with me a long time, 
which is a, um, is a compliment to man that you can have some people who will stick with a leader uh, through thick and thin without the thought of money. Mm -hmm. Real teamwork. Right, this is real teamwork. Thanks so much. Of this here on Earth? Well, I'm dealing with another different aspect. According to other, other beings above this sphere of existence, they don't regard uh, this here as life. It's not considered as life. It's considered as death. Uh, they consider this planet as a planet of death, something like a, uh, a black star, something like that, that's so heavy that it, uh, the gravity of it draws people over inside of it and instead of extending them outward the way the rest of the universe is moving outward and this planet has a tendency to draw things inside of it and become carnivorous and destroy people so they consider themselves as beings in that state of existence as being and they don't bother around with life or death saying then instead that in order for people to really become beings they're going to have to reject what is called life and what is called death as something totally foreign to being. And that moves up into a very profound thing to, to say that. But a lot of people have given up their lives to do things, but they haven't achieved the other impossibility of giving up their deaths yet. But if they give up one, I'm sure if they wanted to, they could give up the other one. And when they do that, they would have achieved a state of immortality. So it's a very simple equation. Um, you try to bring over some belief and happiness to the people and the good things for the people, is it not very disappointing for you that you still see a lot of disappointed things happening here on Earth and with the people? Well, I, I, I'm disappointed in musicians. I'm not disappointed in people because musicians represent the harmony department of the universe. And until they have harmony enough to respect the masses in music and stop just trying to achieve things because they they're all really great because they can improvise and create. But they're masters in everything, and musicians will have to respect masters. And when jazz first started off, that's what happened. The musicians respected every master, like Fletcher Henderson, and they knew who the greats were and who could really teach them something. But musicians today, they, they don't uh, respect the masters, so music is beginning to sort of disintegrate and move farther away from the people because if they can't respect the master, they need not expect people to respect them. Mr. Sunray, is it for you as a person very difficult to bring this on paper, to bring this over on you musicians? Well, it's very easy now. It's sort of like, uh, well, I'm doing everything on total intuition and, and natural ability. So it's very easy for me to create a whole repertoire in one day. Because what I'm doing, I'm, I'm tailor making music, you see. And even if, as a tailor, you could make a lot of suits during the day if you, uh, if you versed in doing that sort of thing. So it's no difficulty for me. The only thing is that every time I change a member of my band, I change the repertoire. So that means I have to be a master at doing that. Um, if I want to recreate a Duke Elton um, composition, I can do that with the exact spirit. And Fletcher Henderson, or any of the rest of the, the masters, I could do that because I made a very good student under them. And if you're a very good student, you can become a master. You also lose, uh, use a lot of visual uh, aspects in your show. Yes, I do that because at certain points, since musicians are dealing with limited earth instruments, there are some things I want to express that they can't express. And the human body can express music through movements of the body. And uh, then the voice can express things too. So then I have to go into the uh, the visual aspects of things. Also, I have to use silence too, because.